All right, everybody. Today we are going to be practice trading crypto. My name is M3, and um, we're going to replay the past and trade it as if it was the current. This is how I practice. This is something I do every day anyway, and I just kind of decided to film it. So what we're going to do is we're going to total up the amount gained and amount lost at the end. We're going to figure out the ratio. We're going to get a realistic estimate of how much I would be making if um, if I did this every day. And that's what we're going to do. All right, so let's do let's do like an altcoin just for fun. Avax Avalanche. Uh, I had something there. All right. So let's do AVAX on the one hour chart, which we're already on. I keep track like this. I like putting the hour first. One hour AVAX. No, that's a whole other thing. All right. Let's practice. So I do, we're going to go someplace in the past that I'm not real familiar with. And I want it to be kind of far away so that I'm not remembering it. Uh, maybe we went the maximum amount. All right, this is, this is 21. Or sorry, November twenty seventh, two thousand twenty one. So let's do eleven twenty seven twenty one. We'll note the time of day because I also want to calculate the daily average amount. I've done other things here. All right. Now let's see here. Yeah. I think I am not going to take this. I bet it's going up again. Okay, so that is wrong. Um, when we do an official bet, I'll say we have to specify what the stop loss is. In other words, where it falls when it sells automatically. Like if it falls to a certain price, it'll sell automatically, so you cut your losses. And then we'll also be doing a take profit level. Like this would be 725 which I'm not gonna do, but uh, that's how that works. And I'm probably gonna be waiting for a while. Hmm. I need to be able to see this oscillator better. I don't know why it's cutting off the top of it. That is annoying. Oh. There. Alright. We got a cross here. Let's go for like... Man, these are really large amounts. Let's go for that. Um... Yeah, I'll pre preemptively set my stop loss there, but I don't think we'll need it. Yup, so that's a big 305% gain. And let's see what else. Mm. It's probably going down again, but I'm not going to take that action. All right. Yep. No. Alright, so what I'm going to do is wait for the ADX to start looking good. What you want is uptrending, and it's nice if it's green, and it's nice if it's at least below this line. And this 
the bottom wick on that candle is kind of disqualifying it. But this could go down. Hmm, that did kind of... No. Yeah, we need the ADX to be good. Got increasing volume. Alright. We will preemptively make the stop loss here at the middle line. I don't know. Actually, I'm not taking this. Hmm. Yep, pretty big reversal. That's tempting. Going above that line. Um, this is the 100 moving average. This is 50 moving average. And this is the 200. Each of those, the 50 averages, the last 50 candles, 100, last 100 candles, and so on. But I don't think this is something I want to take. Ugh. I'm allergic to the volatility. Yep. I don't know. We're gonna wait for it to look really good. There's no... There's just no reason to be hasty. I bet that's going down. Yep. Okay. When it failed, to clarify there, when it failed to only go down a little bit, that's not really a failure. That's something that would, if I was in a trade, I would have gotten out of, but I don't do trades like that. Um, yeah, I don't know, this is, this is not good enough. See, the point isn't to be right about everything. Yeah. You're not going to be right every single time. But that's a pretty big deal. Uh, really, what would I do here? Let's do Fibonacci retracement tool. I'm going to say that Fibonacci to that Fibonacci. This is the stop loss. That's the take profit. Mm. Yeah, that crossed it. Let's see. That was like... That was like... Percent and a half. I want at least a 4 to 1 ratio. I bet this is going up. Maybe I'm just not even going to say that anymore. <laughs> Alright, we're going to wait for the ADX to look good again. Why is it being like this? Yeah. It is. It is uptrending. Got a cross there. Broke above some levels. I'm going to preemptively put my stop loss there. Going to try for that. <laughs> I really would have wanted, wanted a better result than that. 
Okay. New stop losses. You know what? No, I'm just getting out. Yeah, I'm just getting out. That's 1-4%. It's not that good. But we're being cautious. Yup. Look, sometimes it just doesn't happen. Mm. Oh, God. Uh, I think we missed it. Yup, we missed it. Pretty big, pretty big cross down. That was probably a falling wedge formation. Man, I really want to go for that. But I'm glad I didn't. Uh, it did hit it eventually. Um, ADX just isn't good enough. I don't care. Man. Ooh. Yeah, it pretty much bounced off this 200 moving average. I want it. See if it crosses. If it crossed confidently below it. Yeah. Hmm. This is very tempting. Yeah, I'm doing it. All right. Preemptively put it. Put the stop loss there. Let's go for something crazy. Let's go for that much. Let's keep going. How much is that? All right, I'll take that. 160. That was about as much as we were going to get. Uh, nope. Dang it. I did break below that. Mm, I don't know. I don't regret it. I feel like the energy is out of the trend. Yeah, it's dipping back. Maybe when it hits this. Oh, broke confidently through. I bet this is going up. Yeah, it came pretty close to hitting that line. What do we do with this? Uh, the ADX just isn't looking good enough, though. See, that's why this is tempting, because sometimes it just goes down a whole bunch. No. Not good enough. thought about it there since that's basically a reversal. But you don't want them all. The idea is to keep the ratio 
good and just play the odds. And it did break through all those moving averages. put that uh, we're gonna preemptively put that as a stop loss yes 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 that is three five three this is pretty good how long has it been a uh, week oh dang that did kind of make sense Long upper wick, more volume. If it goes red again, and it probably won't. Ooh. Nope. Oscillator's not going the way I want. Yeah, it may have gone down, but I know what re can be reliably counted on. And that wasn't it. Because it just started going right back up. Yeah, just because individual trades don't work out, you can't make that a rule. It has to be... It has to be what's reliable and what's repeatable. We're just going to look for the ADX to start looking good again. There's a lot of trades that I could have made that would have messed up, but the trades I actually did make were pretty good. That's what you got to remember. Now we're in a box, and it just broke out of the box. It's almost like a wedge or something. About. <laughs> About to have a cross on this. That's going down. Let's see what this actually looks like. It's not enough. Oh man, I should have taken that. Yeah, I don't know. For every time you see this happen, I've seen it get rejected a bunch of times. We get the good ratios by being really conservative. be good. Although we got this ducking up. No, nope, I'm not taking it. kind of made sense there. I should have taken that. I was really thinking that might go up. Let's 
see how close. Did I actually cross it? I think it did. Oh, man. Nope. I'm not doing it. Oh, but I should have. Nope. Came real close to touching that line, too. If it confidently crosses above that line. Yeah. Mm, it, didn't, it didn't cross above it. That's tempting. Oscillator's not looking good enough. Probably end this after the next good trade. Going down. This is getting pretty flat. Got a cross there. I don't know. Yeah, maybe I should have taken that one. You can't take just every trade. All right, I'm gonna wait for the ADX to start looking okay. This is looking this is looking like a winner. Preemptively the middle line is the stop loss. Let's go for like that. This could be bad. Uh, I'm going to get out and cut my losses. 104. Still a good ratio. Let's see, it probably could have broken even. Hmm. <laughs> oh. I think I'd be trading FOMO if I took this. Yup. See, glad I didn't take that. This might be something. All right. If this starts getting around there, I will sell. And I will get out now. Technically, this didn't look good on the ADX, so I probably shouldn't have taken this. <sighs> yep. Alright, gonna wait for the ADX to look good again. Yeah, we're getting into nonsense lane. Yeah, I wish this was looking good. I don't like 
get bumping up against these. Yeah, I don't know, maybe I should have done it. Yeah. Here we go. No guts, no glory. Alright, we're going to make the middle line, the stop loss, could get wiped out big time. Gonna go for like that. Okay. Nine three. It's pretty close to 3 to 1 ratio. Once this trend peters out, that's going to be the end of this. Ooh. Yeah, I'm going to say we're done. Alright, so 9th of December, 21. 21. Alright, that's like 14 ish. So this is over 12 days. Let's figure out the win to loss ratio. It's going to be pretty bad this time. Yeah. That equates to 72%. To be fair, there are professional traders that get this ratio, but I like mine to be higher than that. You can see that uh, these are pretty close to or more than 80. I don't know, this was just a bad one. Alright, I'm kind of getting used to doing this in front of a camera as well. So per day, this was over, what is that, 12 days. Uh, 12 point, like, I don't know, 12.25 days or something like that. That's 4, 6% per day, which is not great. So let's figure out realistically what this would be. I can trade for about half the day. Really a little more than that. So that's 4, 6, 1, 2. Four six point one two divided by half, but I use three x leverage, which allows you to trade with three times the money. It is a way of multiplying it. So that's six nine point one eight per day. So with ten thousand dollars, six nine one eight per day for a year you're turning ten thousand dollars um, is it not like the space you're that what oh yeah right Yep, you're turning ten thousand dollars into about a hundred thousand, a little more than a hundred thousand, which is for me really bad. Only multiplying your principal times ten per year. All right, so that is it, and um, I really want to have a better round next time because that was kind of bad. All right, thanks.